to a table like this one here. Um, there's a mandala on top of that table over there. You can just tape it into place. Um, and usually go for more of a low tack masking tape if you're doing furniture. Um, especially if it's not had a good curing time because you could possibly pull the paint off once you remove your masking tape. So you want a low tack masking tape lift. Pop him on there. If you're Joe Bloggs, yeah. and then do you just ask for like a low tech masking tape? Yeah, and they usually say as well, you know, it's usually like if you're in a builder's merchants or something like that, or a DIY shop, you can say, have you got low tech okay. B&Q, Honey Base, and they actually say. So this is kind of a bit more sticky. Right. Um, and then that one actually says, you know, low, there you go, it's got low tack on it as well. That's what it says on the tin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they, you, you, they, you always, you know, have little problems now and again where it will still pull stuff up. Some people don't tape stuff down, but I like it to be, you know, nice and solid on there so it's not going to slide around. Right. Now, what, what, what colour, Josie? What, what would you what like? Have you got? Well, I've got all the metallics here. Yeah, I'd love like um. Oh, metallic! I would love Can a metallic. Come and choose a. <laughs> the gold metallic. Yeah. Gold with a bit of silver. Gold with a bit gold. of silver. Yeah. Gold and silver. Pretty demanding. Really. <laughs> 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 what do you love? <laughs> Oh, so you want it in specific areas, right? Okay, so you want the lettering <laughs> in gold. Yeah, I think I wonder if I can sit on there. Oh, okay. Try. So, gold, <laughs> silver, gold. What about the detail? Or these in gold, and then the detail I, I think that yeah. could work better. Go. Good choice. Yeah. I've just shook, <laughs> sorry, I'll just show you. So we've got Fusion Mineral Paint, um, Hell Gold Metallic here. Just gave it a quick shake up. Some of you might be wondering why I've got um, this cellophane on the top, clean film. It's just because it is such a really brilliant paint. It bonds the lids like really tight. So I just put that over and then easier to get off. I'll just peel it back. Uh, yeah. Some people oh, like Sarah's video in. <laughs> she, she just whacks the pot like this, like a hard woman. And I'm not that strong. So. Nice. Now, stencil in goes on a long, long way. I'm just looking at the size of this. I've got a nice big stencil brush here. I don't want Josie shouting at me, you see, if I get gold in the detailing. But um, I think I'm going to go with this, this one for it. Is it. Can I ask a question? Sorry. Of course you can. A lot of people ask you questions. Why do you tip it out as opposed to doing it in the actual Yeah, yeah. It's a brilliant question. Oh. The reason for that is, it's not like your own... Um, painting something so you don't want this brush fully loaded up and the reason for that is if this was soaking wet and I just went started on there with that it's all going to bleed underneath this and it will look a complete mess so we want sharp edges when you're stenciling you see we want nice clean edges so I've just dripped a bit on there and um, I want the action I'm going to use is like this. So I'm going to dab in it, and I just dab it around like that. And I want to take a bit off too. Okay. So it's almost like a dry brush, but it, it's not dry. And I was taught in a very traditional way of stenciling, and because I'm sometimes working on the side of furniture, you've got to keep your brush like. Um, 
What's that? Perpendicular? Or at a right angle if you're working that way. Because I'd be holding, you know, pouncing like this. I'm just going to get going with it. You could pull the stencil up. The action of the suction of the paint on the brush might pull it up. So I just hold it with um, like a, a little decorator's paint stripper, wall paint stripper. And I've loaded that up so I've got enough so it's not really wet. I'm going do 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 like this, pouncing it. <laughs> Some people like to scroll it around but I don't like that. I'm a swirler. <laughs> I'm a swirler, yeah. And do you find it bleeds on the knee of them? No. No. Because every time I've done it like that, I get it to... I must be putting too much on if I'm doing that technique. I guess for me, it's what you're taught, isn't it, as well? Does it give a different finish? No. No. It's the same, yeah. the same finish. That's it, they're all taught in different ways. Um, when I was taught, it was a, a, I did a city and guilds in um, interior decorative techniques. And, and I did the MBQs in painting and decorating as well. So I did scaffolding and everything. Wow. With the builders. Oh. I was ill, I was ill. Oh no, one of my kids was ill at the time when I was doing it. Jess was, Jess was about, gosh, she was about two years old when I was doing the MBQs. And um, she was ill, that was it. So I missed my scaffolding exam and then I had to do it in the bloody snow with all these builders that I didn't know. <laughs> Really funny. <laughs> oh, but, um, yeah. And one of them had a panic attack at the top. And and I just went, and he tried to grab me, I was like, just sit down, sit there, sit there, sit there, you're you're gonna be alright. <laughs> I presume that was yeah. anything to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never been out with him. <laughs> 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 yeah. So you can see just a bit of care and attention, and we're working our way through. We're nearly there. We're nearly done the lettering. So see that tiny drop of paint that I put on there? Mm. Can you see how it goes a long way? Mm. The stenciling. Right. I'm kind of happy with that, I think. Alright, and I'm just going to... Um, okay, we're still above. Okay, so we're going for one called brush steel here. A little shape up. Same thing. So really, that's probably all we're going to need. I'm going to go with this other brush. It's not very good, this brush. It sheds. Oh, so it's a little bit thinner. <laughs> You can have some of my hair on your your back. <laughs> <laughs> um, It'll be unique. For me, that's not like tight enough. So that's not tight enough. This point. So I'm going to show you what you can do. Um, this is another decorate trick, actually. Usually, when people are cutting in furniture, if you're painting edges of things. Um, like the skirting boards and you want to cut in and your brush is um, maybe a new one like this and it's really boingy and you want more control I need to boingy you know, boingy. <laughs> I know I'm trying to think of any other way to think it but look I'm, see how that was quite boingy and I want it less boingy so, which, 
can elastic band <laughs> no. do the same on the <coughs> water? Or would, no. it, would it spread it? it it'll <laughs> probably roll around okay, and get yeah. covered in pain. And, yeah. and this is nice and easy just to remove as well, well. And it's going to keep it in place like that. So let's let's yeah. test the boinginess. Can you see it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a bit yeah. stiffer now? Yeah. All right. <coughs> More wine down here, please. <laughs> right. More wine. Box. Wine up back. Like box. Work, it, wasn't it? Right. So let's let's go with this one now. So we're going with the detail. And another thing, you can use this almost to mask areas. So where that letter C is, if I cover that there. It also holds it in place, but even though you've just done the painting underneath, yeah, it dries really fast with stencil in this thing. But I, it's not go, it's going on there, but it's not going on the letter. Yeah, that you want in gold. Some people are awkward. <laughs> <laughs> the fussy ones. <laughs> one nearly, I nearly went on that one. Oh, concentration. <laughs> um, have you all put your names in the tin to win one of these yet? Not yet. <laughs> yeah, just just put your name. An email. And telephone number. An email. And, <laughs> and email. <laughs> if you can put your emails on there as well. That'd be oh, yes. well, if you haven't, don't worry. I just let it slide then, so it sort of moved a bit. Actually, that's kind of a, a thing to point out. Um, if I drop this stencil down a bit and then stenciled again, I'd get like a shadow effect, like they call it drop stenciling, but I didn't want to be doing that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a really good excuse. So I can see I've started there, that has moved. Oh. Yeah. This is what... What you shouldn't do is really stencil <laughs> It's not professional. Don't worry. I'll just throw it away someday. So how would you stop that from doing that? Would you well, I'd just concentrate. <laughs> Do you put more tape on I could put more tape, yeah. Because I'm not concentrating. <laughs> yes. Stressful stenciling. Any more questions about stenciling while we're on it? Does it need to be sealed? Um, no, not with this fusion because um, it's like got a built-in top coat. So you know, once that's done, that's good to go, and it's really waterproof as well, which is why I, I chose it for these bags as well because of that. Um, I'm going to show you some deck card ones as well, but they will be sealed because they've been tissue paper. And can you imagine them yeah, oh, yeah. sort of going out with that? I'm going to just turn him that way a bit because um, oh, you can see where I have the slippage. From so, Joe Vlog's speaking, what do you mean by sealing it? Sealing it like with a varnish to make it waterproof so that it won't um, rub off. So you just or go rub. over it again like that. <laughs> Something else? Is that no, no, you don't have to seal. This is what we were just saying. No, but if you were sealing it, that, is that what you mean by sealing? Going over it with, with a different texture? Yeah, yeah you could um, use like an acrylic varnish, for instance, or some people might use wax as a sealant. 
What about using an iron? So, you know, your bag gets all creased and after oh. heavy yeah, days shopping. And, really and you want to use an iron on it to get... Do you know, that's a really good question. Well, that's why I asked I it. don't yeah. know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> you should get to iron infusion. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, do you know? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, It's fine, it? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay, thank you very much. It can be washed as well. I know you can wash it, but I didn't know about ironing. Would you iron it on the wrong side? Turn it inside out and iron you it? You could do, yeah, but because... You can iron it on it? You can, yeah. Wow.